Hey guys, it's Owl. Um, hi. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video, first of all. Um, I've had a re I've had a raft of new subscribers since um, since posting the craft tag, so thank you for that. Um, Tanis, in particular, you did a really good tag. Thank you so much. You really nailed it. Um, it was really interesting to watch um, the answers to those questions coming from someone who classes themselves as a beginner. So that was really really cool. Um, I hope the tag keeps going and that it keeps on going out there. I'm really sure for the results so far. Um, so yeah, thanks for that. Um, the reason I'm doing this video today is I suddenly realised I didn't really do an intro. Um, my first video was the Glastonbury um, tour, which I was really excited about, but I didn't really sit down in front of the camera and do an intro video. So I realised that some of you may have no idea who I am, <laughs> which is, you know, which I suppose is the nature of YouTube, really. But um, I thought I would do this little video just to give you um, an overview of who I am and why I'm on YouTube and the experience I'm bringing to the community. So, I'll start with that. Um, my YouTube name is Melian Owlheart. Um, that is half of my magical name and half of something that I sort of associate with um, myself in terms of my totem animal. Melian is half of my magical name. I won't go into any more of that because it's between me and my deities, but <clears throat> I thought it would be a good name to use for YouTube. Um, I'm on Facebook. Um, not under this name, under my real name, which I won't give out on YouTube. But um, I am a member of the Witches Lay and Goddesses of the Moon Facebook groups. So if you're on either of those, there's a pretty good chance you've spoken to me and not realised. <laughs> um, I do post some of my videos on those groups. So um, hopefully, if you are a member of those groups, you'll know who I am. Um, so yeah, um, this isn't my first YouTube channel. I have posted on YouTube before under the name Yala Sylvanas. Um, I pulled that channel about, oh gosh, maybe a year and a half ago now, um, for personal reasons. Um, but the time has come in my life where I'm ready to make YouTube videos again. So I decided to make a brand new channel and start from scratch. Um, I do have my old videos, but I don't think I'll be uploading them simply because um, they're not really relevant to my practice anymore. So, yeah. Forgive me for looking in this direction. I have actually made some notes because I'm useless at remembering what I wanted to say. Um, so anyway, let's um, pretend as if you've never met me before. So my name is Malian, although I, I'm commonly known on YouTube as Owl. Um, mainly because it's easier for people to pronounce. Um, <laughs> so yeah, feel free to call me Owl. Um, I'm an Aquarian. Um, I'm 30 years old and I'm married to the love of my life. I got married just over seven weeks ago, but I've been with my with my partner, for, with my husband rather, for um, 11 years. We met at university and we've lived together for three years. We've now been married for seven weeks and it's fabulous. Um, I've recently lost my job, which is why I'm making some YouTube videos. This is kind of what I do with my time. Um, at the moment, I'm really immersing myself in witchy research and outreach. I want to be part of a, of, a, of a pagan community again. I am a solitary, but I miss the interaction with other people, which is why I've made these YouTube videos. Um, and will continue to make these YouTube videos. Um, in terms of my background, I'm... Um, I've been a practicing witch for 12 years. Um, I came to Wicca when I was 18. Um, I haven't always stayed with Wicca. I'm sort of being drawn back to it now. But my path has taken many twists and turns, mainly through... Um, I was a Wiccan for about two years, and then I sort of got called off in the away from the Wiccan side of things, and. I sort of went down the path of hedge witchery or green witchcraft, kitchen witchcraft, call it whatever you will. I did that for a long time. Um, through that then I found druidry and joined a druid order, which I'm still a member of, and did some of their training. And now, at this time of my life, the circle seems to have completed itself and I'm being brought, drawn back to Wicca. So, a little bit more detail on that. Um, I'm a member of the Order of Bards, Ovates and Druids, otherwise known as Obod. 
Uh, they're a British Druid order, but they, they, they have members worldwide. Um, they do a correspondence course of training of three levels, Bard, Ovate, and Druid. Um, I've completed my Bardic training. Uh, I, am a, I am a trained Bard, if you wish to call it that. And I'm currently in the middle of my Ovate training. Um, alongside that, I'm also a current student of the Fellowship of Isis. Um, I found the Fellowship of Isis about two years ago. Um, never really engaged with it, although I was interested in it. I looked at their website and I was interested. Um, about two months ago, maybe three months ago now, I had a renewed interest and applied to study with them. I was accepted and I'm currently undergoing a course with the Lyceum, which is uh, the term that the Fellowship of Isis use for their training centres. Um, again, that's via correspondence. Um, but up to now, it's been... Sorry, my thing. Sorry, my eye. Um, up to now, it's been a really positive experience, and I'm enjoying it. So that's really good. Um, I am hoping, eventually, to have a more active role in the Fellowship of Isis. Um, the, the path that will take, I don't know. Um, but obviously, when I do know, you guys will be the first to know. <laughs> Um, my goddesses are Isis and Brigantia. Um, Brigantia is an ancient Brythonic goddess of the Celtic Isles of Britain. Um, she is quite commonly associated with, with the goddess... A lot of people say Brigid, but, which is fine, but being a Celt, I tend to call her Brig. Um That's how the Irish tend to pronounce it, at least as far as I know. Please, if you know different and I'm wrong, please correct me. Um, but being as I, I am Welsh, um, I feel a very strong pull to the Brythonic deities, and Brigantia is one of them. In terms of a god, I do honour the god, but I don't really have a name for him right now. In the past, I've honoured um, Kynanos, who again is a Brythonic deity, but he seems to be stepping away at the moment, so I'm not entirely sure who I meant who my patron god is meant to be at this moment in time. Maybe it's, I don't have one. Please forgive my appearance. I literally just had a shower and my hair is sopping. So, forgive me. Uh, well, there's nothing else I wanted to say. Um, I'm a solitary practitioner. Um, although I do occasionally meet up with other druids um, in Glastonbury for Obod gatherings, which are really fun. Um, that does involve group ritual, which is a really cool experience. Um, I haven't joined a coven, mainly because I haven't really felt the need. I like being a solitary practitioner. I like being able to do my rituals and spell work as as I'm called to them. With that in mind, I do I do honour the wheel of the year, but I don't celebrate every single Sabbath, and that's because I don't feel called to. I always acknowledge the Sabbath and... Um, you know, I do think the Wheel of the Year is important and I really enjoy the seasonal feel of it all, but I don't personally do ritual for every single Sabbath. Um, if I feel called to, then I will. If I don't, then I won't. It's really as simple as that. Um, that might be a bit of a really bad uh, way of putting it, but it is what it is. So, yeah. In terms of my ethics... Um, do I follow the Wiccan read? Yes and no. In the sense that I believe it's a fabulous, it is a really good thing to live by and I try, you know, I try to live to that ideal all the time. But we are human. We are human and as humans we can only ever take it as a guideline, not a law. I don't really believe that it's possible to harm an un all the time. So, in the sense of Anish Harmonen, do what you will, I kind of use it as a... What's the word I want? Um, I don't like the word I want. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I suppose, like, I suppose like, a, like a... A barrier then, I suppose. Before I do something, I think, will this harm anybody? including myself. And if there's a possibility that it will, I say, okay, 
how important is this magical need? How important is this for me to stop? Case in point, if I'm doing a, if one of my friends is being um, bullied, okay, this has happened a lot. If one of my friends or somebody that I, you know, somebody in the community or somebody that I care about, a family member, my husband, myself, anyone, if anyone is being bullied, that would annoy me because I hate bullying and I hate drama and I hate negativity in general. Okay, I, I don't have time for that in my life. I've had enough of that over the last couple of years. I have no place for it in my magical practice. But if somebody is threatening me or someone that I love very dearly, then that becomes a pressing problem for me. So, yes, I would do a binding in those circumstances. Is it against that person's free will? Yes, of course. Because nobody would, nobody would actively ask to be bound. But... Is it for the greater good? Yes. So I hope that makes some sense of my interpretation of the Wiccan Reader. It is something that I do try to live by in my magical work, but there are times where, you know, you have to make a very hard decision. And in that sense, are there consequences? Yes. Am I prepared to live with those consequences? Yeah, I am. If I do a binding for someone and it's against their free, their free will, there will be consequences, but... I'm prepared to accept those. I'm not one of these people that thinks Wicca is all love and light. Yes, that is a large part of it, and is, you know, as Wiccans and as witches, we do gravitate towards making people's life better. But Wicca, actually, I'm not going to use the term Wicca anymore. Witchcraft is about more than that. Witchcraft is balance, okay? To me, anyway, Wicca is light and dark. And balance in the two. And dark doesn't always mean evil. Dark doesn't always mean, um, you know, negative. Without the dark, we wouldn't be able to see the light. And that's kind of my, my take on things. So, yeah. <laughs> Don't panic. I'm not the sort of person who does curses and hexes. Although I do know about them, I have studied them, but that doesn't mean I actually practice them. The reason I've studied, and pr studied them is because I feel it's important to know those things as a balance. As I've said, I'm all about balance, and that was a really important thing to me. I've studied a lot of things magically that I would never do, but that's part of the search for knowledge, I suppose. Um, I realise I've babbled on for a little bit. And I've sort of gone off on a tangent about, about ethics. I apologise for that. But um, these videos are very much my stream of consciousness. And there we are. So hopefully you've got to see a little bit about me. Um, next I'm going to do another witchy haul video. Um, there will be very many of these coming up. Because I am starting to run out of money. But <laughs> um, I've... Ordered some stuff from my favourite mail order company, which will be next, so please stay tuned for that. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, all my subscribers, you are very much appreciated. Please keep sub subscribing and commenting on my videos, and feel free to make video responses. I really, really love the interaction I'm going with you all. So thank you very much for that. Um, have a wonderful day, and blessed be. <laughs>